John Williams back with us from Locked On Sooners. John, it is officially official now. Brent Venables will be the next head coach at Oklahoma. First, let me get your reaction to that. And then two, what, I guess, made the Sooners make this decision to go with Brent and bring him back to Norman? Well, first of all, I think it's a great hire. I think you know, he's a guy that brings a ton of energy. If you saw any of the videos from last night and you in South Carolina, you all know him very well. You've seen him on the sidelines. Just a very energetic, charismatic personality on that front. You know, it, just that energy just draws people to him. And for the Oklahoma Sooners, I feel like it's one of those situations where they go back to a guy who has a long history with Oklahoma, coached under Bob Stoops until he left for Clemson, has a history with Bob Stoops dating back to their time at Kansas State under Bill Snyder. And he's a guy who, even though he's got no head coaching experience, he's coached under some of the greats of college football, Bill Snyder, Bob Stoops, Dabo Sweeney. Two Hall of Famers, one guy that's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, he's won three national titles as a defensive coordinator. And so it's just a, a, a situation that makes a lot of sense for the Oklahoma Sooners, makes a lot of sense for Brent Venables, and somebody that can help get them back to a, a place of defensive prominence that it's been a while since they've been in. It's been since, honestly, he left that the Oklahoma Sooners defense has actually had consistency um, from year to year. And, and that's what they're really looking to get back to. The offense has never been a problem for 20 plus years. The, the Oklahoma Sooners offense has been really, really good. It's the defense over the last decade or so that's been a struggle. Yeah, for sure. And Brent, the fact that Clemson's defense perennially ranked in the top five in the country in scoring defense, total yards given up. He's definitely going to bring a lot to that. He's definitely going to fix that more than likely. And we kind of saw the fan reaction in Norman yeah. last night. Like a lot of fans super excited that Brent was back. He was excited that he was back. But just overall, your thoughts on just fans, did they want anybody else or was it from the jump? Brent was the guy that they said, you know what, that's the man we want to be our next head football coach. Well, there were certainly guys that people pointed to, like Dan Lanning at Georgia. I mean, hot names on the coaching circles. Uh, but I think most people just have that affinity for Brent because of his history with the Oklahoma Sooners. And uh, someone that that has had opportunities to go to take another head coaching job elsewhere, but never did. Um, I think people are looking at this like, okay, this is this is the guy. Uh, you know, Shane Beamer we talked about last week was another one that people brought up, but given that he'd only been at South Carolina for a year, that seemed pretty unlikely. Uh, Billy Napier got brought up a little bit, Luke Fickle as well, but it never really seemed like those were going to be legitimate options. And so I think most people kind of centered on Brent Venables as the guy. And even though it's a process that took a week to, to make happen, it seemed like by midweek last week, he was uh, out in front as the number one guy on, on Joe Castiglione's uh, coaching search. Gotcha, for sure. And then, John, my last question is just, do you envision Br Venables bringing any of his Clemson assistants with him to OU? And what type of staff do you see him bringing to, the, to Oklahoma? Well, they definitely got a need for a defensive backs coach. Uh, former Oklahoma Sooners defensive backs coach Roy Manning resigned under a little bit of controversy after some potential recruiting issues uh, over the last week. Um, <laughs> It seemed like he was going to USC with uh, the other USC, I should say, uh, with Lincoln Riley, uh, but was, was also making some visits at the same time. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's always hard to say, you know, there's going to be guys that, that are at Clemson that would like to follow Brent Venables, Brent Venables, I'm sure. But, you know, Davos Sweeney's a great guy, too. And so I'm sure that they'll want to stay loyal to him and his staff as well. So it's going to be hard to say. Uh, there'll definitely be some openings. Who they retain off their current staff is going to uh, be part of the question uh, he's got relationships with every one of those guys that's on the current staff and so it'll be really be interesting to see over the, over the coming days uh, how Brent Venables kind of creates his staff but I think everybody's really excited about it the players if you look on Twitter and follow their social media every one of them to a T is just pumped about the hire and so it's things are really looking up for the Oklahoma Sooners now after uh, a shocking Sunday the week before exactly for sure it's funny the difference a week yeah. can make am Absolutely. I right yeah. Well, John, thanks so much. And again, if people want to listen to the Locked On Sooners podcast, John, go ahead and tell them how they can do it. Yeah, you can find Locked On Sooners. Uh, it's free of, and available on every podcast platform. It's also up on YouTube as well. Have daily shows. Generally, I've been under the weather the last couple of days, so I'm kind of behind on, on some of my shows. But you can also follow me on Twitter at John9Williams. So check it out.